yo what's going on we're back with another what if video and today's video is what if the dallas cowboys had a full team of micah parsons offense and defense and the san francisco 49ers had a full team of george kittles offense and defense now the reason why i'm doing this is because every time these teams show up and pair up in real life everybody always talks about what would be the perfect who would be the perfect person to clone and create an entire team of Micah Parsons or George Kittle well today we're gonna figure it out so what I've gone through and before we get into this I don't ever I don't deserve anything in life everything you everything you do in life you have to work for but can I please for the time that I put into editing every single one of these players the, the least I ask is you drop a like because Literally every single player I have edited. Now, some of these players, like not all right ends, are gonna be the, the perfect overall. Basically, what I did is I got the 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 physical attributes basically is perfect, pretty much. Um some of these players have different boosts and whatnot, like momentum or whatever it's it's called. Um and then what I did for like the other ones for like the rest of them, um I basically brought them to like like, for example, Micah Parsons at right tackle. All of his pass blocking and whatnot is around 50 overall. The dude's a nasty freak in the NFL. Okay, pause. I would assume that this guy has at least 50 overall passing. All right. To be honest, I could go out there, pull up my knees a little bit, and probably have at least 30 pass blocking. And Micah Parsons is 17 times the athlete in the person that I am. So as you can see, so here's the right, real Micah Parsons. This is the guy right here, uh, and then we have a left in Micah Parsons. So who, let's see here, strong safety Micah Parsons, middle linebacker Micah Parsons. My favorite is QB Micah Parsons at 40 overall. Now what, I'm not, what I need to do before, real quick before the game is actually cut these two guys. Um, for the Niners, I couldn't cut them. So basically I just tanked their entire <laughs> attributes. They're like 12 overall. They're not gonna start if they start. We're gonna have to have to talk with the with the Niners front office. All right, we're we're gonna have to talk. Bada bing, bada boom. Micah Parsons is the only QB in that QB room, and he is ready to deliver. Ninety two speed, ninety seven. This is the most physical QB in the game. Honestly, QB draw every single time. QB power up the middle. <laughs> this is this is gonna be an interesting game to say the least. Boom bop. Q Micah Parsons at running back. Honestly, it's kind of crazy. Micah Parsons is about a 70, 70 overall. Like I said, I didn't get the attributes perfectly, so not every person is going to be exactly the same. You can look at the stats there. There are a couple off here or there. Um, I'm curious to see how Micah Parsons is going to do at running back because the dude's fast. He, he's just a, a, a monster. I mean, he played running back in high school for a while, and the dude, like, he just be given the ball, and it was an automatic touchdown. I mean, it, go look up his high school stats. It's absolutely insane. And then we got Micah Parsons at receiver. Um, honestly, not the worst receiver. About about a sixty overall, but again, he's fast and he's huge. Just run the ball, all right. Just run the ball, computer. Michael Parsons, tight end. Honestly, not terrible. Sixty overall. He's really not like a terrible player. Sorry, sorry about you, Odugba Chuma. Sorry about you, Chuma. Like he's really not a bad guy, dude. Like, all right, Josh Ball, you gotta go. Like you in real life. Yet's to go. We even got a Micah Parsons kicker. He's a 63 overall. Like I said, we're we're wherever he's not the natural player, we're going about that 40 50 range. But I mean, dude, this is probably the toughest kicker in the league. Onside it and just let him go spear somebody in the chest. Moving on to the Niners, like I said, I couldn't cut uh these other players. So we've got George Kittle starting at QB. He's a 34 overall, 88 speed, 89 acceleration. He's 6'5", 250. We got George Kittle at halfback. George Kittle at receiver. Crazy enough, we have George Kittle at tight end. George Kittle at D-tackle. And obviously, we had to go George Kittle at kicker. Had to. All right, so before we get into this, um, like I said, I have edited every single player uh, for, for Micah Parsons. Everybody is, uh, like, their stats are, are very similar. Almost the exact same. Physical stats are pretty much the exact same. Um, but I also went in and I edited every single, like, if they've got the helmet, um, Micah part, luckily Mike and Parsons and George Kittle didn't have any crazy, like swag on the, on the, on the arms or anything. Um, the only thing that was frustrating was George Kittle and his stupid 
helmet that's got like the air vents right here. I had to go in and change every single person's helmet because nobody else in the NFL wears that helmet. But guys, like I said, please hit that like button for me. This was a lot of work for me to, to create. Um, if you like this sort of this this kind of content, um, subscribe because there's gonna be many many more to come. Leave a comment down in the comments uh, below if you want to see something else. Go crazy, anything. Uh, I don't I don't know anything. We're gonna do it. Also, leave a comment down below before we get into this. Don't cheat, or I'm coming for you. Who do you think is gonna win, Micah Parsons or George Kittle? Let's go. They're Mike. They're everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a lot of my boy. Hey, I'd be scared. Yes, sir. George Kittle, baby. My goodness. All right, here we go. My, oh, we're just going to go play by play. We're going to speed it up. See how this ends. Micah Parsons. A nine-yard rush up the middle of the field. Oh, a little throw away. Okay. You know, we're, just run it. Just run it every single time. Hold up. We got a pass. Micah Parsons completes a 19-yard reception to Micah Parsons. Oh, my gosh. Hold up. Hold up. A 27-yard completion. Let's go! Micah Parsons with a four-yard rush. Extra point is good, surprisingly. Surprisingly, the extra point is good. George Kittle with the one play touchdown. They kneel the ball, go to the 25, and a one George Kittle to George Kittle for 75 yard touchdown reception. Se hit 7 7 game. This is anybody's game at this point. Let's see how this can go. All right, so we're running the ball. All right. George Kittle forces the three and out. We got a sack. Micah Parsons with a nine-yard loss. All right. Let's go. All right. We, we force the punt. Man, this is a back and forth. Not rush. Rush. Okay. Sack. Surprisingly, George Kiddo gets in there for a sack on Micah Parsons. Loss of eight. Another punt. All right. Here we go. Zero-yard rush. Rush. Another punt. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be... The battle of the defenses. See, what was crazy is the the Cowboys defense is a 99 overall with a full stack of Michael Parsons. The Niners offense is, I think it was like a 80 something overall, which is just crazy. Can they get at least a field goal out of this? They cannot. All right, we punt. Now we see Michael Parsons is not the best kicker. So even what would that have been? A 30, a 47, 48 yard field goal? Couldn't hit it. Couldn't hit it. This is going to be a battle of the defenses, man. This is going to be a battle of the defense. Sack. Punt. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're going to speed this up. Sack, punt. Oh, my gosh. Run. Run. Oh, my gosh. Punt. Oh, punt dot by George Kittle. All right, just stay. Just get out. Get out of there. Get the first down. Nice, nice. Micah Parsons having a much better... It looks like I have their... Besides, uh, besides George Kittle hitting that 75-yard bomb for the touchdown, Micah Parsons seems to have a much more efficient passing game than George Kittle. Running, look, look, another dot on Micah Parsons to get down the field. Looks like we might be in Micah Parsons' field goal range with that, with that throw right there. Can we squeeze it in? Guys, I know the Cowboys IRL having a rough time in the red zone. But we can't, we can't be having this, all right? Missed a 25-yard field goal, dog. Micah! All right, all right, all right. Looks like we're going to. Looks like we're going to have time. All right, Micah. We've got in the red zone, and you missed a 25-yard field goal. We cannot have that. We got to get back. Interception. Oh no! 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 What's crazy, dude, is, is George Kittle out there. He's 6'4", 250 pounds, but he's got he's got the hands of, of the tight end. He's got insane hands. So if you throw anywhere around him, they're, they're going to slurp that thing up. What are we doing here? Don't let him in. Micah, stand strong. There we go. Get a sack. All right. 
and he makes the field goal. Ugh! All right, Micah, how are you going to answer with another interception? Oh my gosh, Micah, you're you're not Dak Prescott. You're not Dak Prescott. All right, we don't need to do this. I get my I get Dak Prescott is your is your is your old QB your IRL QB, but we can't be throwing picks like this, man. You got to stop him. You got to stop him. If you have any sack, all right, this might be out of the field goal range. Let's go! All right, all right, all right, well, guys. We we gotta we gotta get drive. All right, cool, 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 cool. Just just keep rushing it. They can't stop our Russian. We, we, they can't stop our Russian attack. They can't stop it. Keep pumping it. Keep pumping it. Rush. Hey, look. You're on the two-yard line. You're on the... Let's go! Micah Parsons with a one-yard rush. That whole drive was an absolute clinic in the, in the run game by Micah Parsons. Insane. Hits the field goal. We go up 14 to 10. All right. Here we go. I don't know what's going on there. George Kittle just having a crazy time. Micah Parsons stopping him. All right. Let's go. Come on. Let's let's we gotta we gotta we gotta stat this lead. We gotta pad this lead. Another dude, this is a just an absolute defensive battle. Oh, oh, all right. Run. Okay. Just hey, you got this. Third and six. You don't have this. You went for it? You're... Wait, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What's going on here? All right, whatever. They're they're at the, the, the two. Okay. First and ten. Okay. Micah. This is a 99 overall defense, dude. Stop getting ran on. Come on. What is that? A penalty defense oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh nine seconds left they're on literally the crack the like the Don's butt crack hairline on the off I think that's it boys I'm so confused. Did it not just say touchdown? Let's go! They stopped him on the one? Let's go! I, th I guess we have the official... Let's, we gotta look at these stats. I guess we have the official answer. My, a full team of... As, it's close. Look, I'll give it to you. It's close. But Micah Parsons is victorious over George Kittle. Looks like Micah Parsons, 219 in the air. Um, let's check out these stats. Now look, Micah Parsons may have thrown for 219, but those two interceptions are unacceptable. George Kittle, 12 for 15, a great completion rating with a touchdown. Rushing, Micah Parsons went crazy, 24 for 81, three yards a pop, two touchdowns. Man, George Kittle really, really spread the rock out amongst himself. Um, I, I mean, a good array of... Of, uh, of of rushing partners there. 5 for 20 by Micah Parsons. Receiving. George Kittle. 7 for 143 and a touchdown. Looks like Micah Parsons did his fair share. I mean, dude, literally, George Kittle is the only person who killed us on offense in the air. Micah Parsons really passed it around. Let's see here. Defense. I kind of want to see like how the, the the real the real guys did. So, Micah Parsons. Let's see here. Any? Let's see sacks. Micah. Not even the. Micah. Micah. You had two tackles the whole game. <laughs> hey dog, you're supposed to be the captain of this team. What are you doing out there? All right, let's see here. Um, let's go. Let's go Niners. Um, and let's go back to receiving. Let's see.
They didn't even pass it. George Kittle didn't even pass it to his I, his real self. What the? F All right, guys. So it's officially official. Micah Parsons comes out with the W against George Kittle. Uh, for shits and gig, let's go ahead and send to the end, end of the season and see what this looks like. All right, and we're back in it. So the Cowboys actually, Cowboys and Micah Parsons actually made the fifth seed, uh, which is actually just absolutely perfect. Literally, Cowboys are going to be the fifth seed every year. Might win the first round, definitely losing in the second round. Um, that is my prediction for this year. Actually, my IRL prediction is a, so they get in there at the fifth seed, play the Bucks, beat them, and they lose to whoever they play next. I'm not sure. I haven't got that far in my head because neither of the Cowboys IRL. Man, the Niners actually took a hard drop after the after the loss of the Cowboys. They just could not collect themselves. They lost. They won two games after they lost to the Cowboys. The rest of the season, put up a good fight against the Commanders and a good fight against the Rams. Oh my gosh, I, that's that's actually official. Micah part a full team of Micah Parsons is better than a full team of George Kittles. Micah Parsons is just insane. I mean, if you really go into his stats and look, I mean, there were some DBs that I actually had to increase their stats when it came to when it came to creating Micah Parsons. I mean, think about that. Micah Parsons 6'4", 246, I think it was. And there was DBs, guys that are about 6 foot, 190, that I actually had to increase their physical stats. Not, not just their speed, but their agility, their change of direction. That is absurd. Let's go ahead and take it, check out the end of the year stats, and we will actually sim. Luckily, we've made it to the playoffs. We will sim with these guys, see how this goes. Micah Parsons, not a great QB. Look, this, is, this isn't your thing, big man. Uh, 20 for 20. 20 touchdowns to 26 interceptions. I, I, dude, I think Justin Fields might throw a better game than that. Rushing, though. He was a 1,000-yard rusher. He, he was a 1,000-yard rusher with 12 touchdowns. Do we have, can, can Micah, Micah Parsons goes, he is, we have 2,000-yard receivers from Micah Parsons. Look, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Micah Parsons is an absolute beast. Throw him a screen. Throw him a screen and watch this guy go to work. Um, let's see. Micah Parsons. This has got... This has got to be... We're going to check out full defensive stats. This has got to be the most insane sack stats from a team I've ever seen. What's the record? What is the record in a single season? Micah Parsons, 28. We have 28 sacks, 22, 19 and a half. The real Micah got 12 and a half, which no slouch. 12 and a half is no slouch. But compared to 28, I mean, what, what are we talking? Almost two a game? Four, four, half, half, half. Dog, what? What? Hold on. We had almost a hundred sacks on the year. Twelve tied for first in fumbles. Fumble I guess force fumbles. Or fumble recoveries, yeah. No slouch and intercept oh wow. Okay. Eagles. Well, 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 well. But bro. I mean, think about having to go against an entire defense level Mike Parsons. One guy wrecks a game by himself. But now you've got four, five, maybe six guys blitzing coming at. I need this in real life, bro. Can you imagine watching a season where they get 96 sacks in one season? This is like, this is the most, this is one of the craziest what if Sims I've done. Let's, uh, let's advance. See, <laughs> Doc, see what we can do. All right. We got the dub. Let's let's see what the box score was real quick. Micah Parsons actually three touchdowns and one interception. Respectable. 105 QBR. Looks like we passed the rock around on the ground. What is that? Got about what 70 70 rushing yards. Not bad. Divvied it up at receiving. I mean, dog. Defense. Uh, this is what I want to see. We got two, three. Four, five. Oh my gosh. Five sacks. An, an additional 
five sacks. We're over a hundred on the year with postseason included. Five sacks. Micah, the real Micah Parsons actually goes crazy. On to the divisional round, I guess. We just spanked the Vikings. Dude, nobody's scoring on us. What is going on? Stop it. What is going on? I mean, not a crazy offensive game, so I am scared on what I'm about to see. What's it? Okay, so they, they had two turnovers, which were both interceptions by Kirk the Man Cousins. Dude, like we're not throwing for a ton of yards, but three touchdowns? How efficient can we be? 68% completion rating? 100 yards rushing? Nothing like, I get, like our, our receivers are eating, not in yards, but in touchdowns. Everybody, like, share the rock? What is going on right now? Defense. How many sacks are we at now? One, two, three, four, four. Like, first playoff game is five. This playoff game is four. Like, that's still insane. That is still insane. Micah Parsons, the real Micah Parsons, still doing his thing. Oh, this is perfect. Going against Philly for the conference championship. Let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. The Eagles put up a much better fight. A 26-24 butt squeaker of a game. Let's go check out that score. Micah Parsons has a 400-yard game. I mean, so does Jalen. Jeez, what are the... We win the turnover battle. That, I mean, I'm not surprised. With the full team of Micah Parsons, you're bound to turn the ball over at some point. And it was an interception by Micah Parsons. But dude throws for 400 yards and a touchdown. 66% completion rating. Nothing crazy on the ground, but we go for two tuds on the ground. Receiving... Micah Parsons goes for 215 yards. What an insane, insane playoff game for him. Let's see. Sacks. What are we talking here? Another three. Three? Four, five, four, and three? I mean, I will I will take a three-sack game. How's, how's the real Micah doing over here? Damn. What? Is this guy just non-existent? Okay, he had a tag for a loss. Golly. This is the... Uh, hit a like, dude. This is absolutely... We're about to have a full team of Micah Parsons go in and have a chance at winning the Super Bowl. Boys, it's Super Bowl time. The 10-7 and 7 Micah Parsons versus the 12-5 and 5 Baltimore Ravens. Let me know, know down in the comments what you think we're... Uh, who, who... Words are hard tonight. Who do you think will win? Micah Parsons or the Baltimore Ravens? Oh, we couldn't cap it off. We lost. Micah Parsons just couldn't put together an offensive drive. 24 to 14 L. I mean, no, no crazy differences. We lost a turnover battle. That is going to be it. We lost a turnover battle. Yep, Micah Parsons. He's a liability at QB. That's all I'm going to say. He is a liability at QB. I will agree with you there. Um, 225, one touchdown, two interceptions. That's going to get you. That's going to get you right there. We got stuffed, absolutely stuffed in the run game. Just nothing, to, nothing doing there. Um, receiving, not a whole lot there. Uh, the Ravens just came to play on defense. Ravens came to play. Um, we're still three... Still getting a consistent three. I mean, what is that? So we got five, four, three, three. Quick, quick math. So that's 15 sacks in the postseason. That would be, uh, what is that, 111? If my math is correct. 111 total. 100 and I don't know if I'm doing that right. I'm, we're going to stick with it. 111 sacks total for the entire year. Week one to Super Bowl. 111 sacks by one. That's got to be a record. That's got to be a record. We had the first overall defense. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it was close. I really don't. The eighth overall receiver, Micah Parsons, is not a bad. He's the eighth. Like, I don't know how you could just have Micah Parsons be the eighth overall receiver. That's just, uh, this, is, this is insane. Here's what I want to see. So, obviously, defensive sacks. 
he destroyed the record. And another one of our, another Micah Parsons actually tied the record for the most sacks. We had somebody tie, in the one season, we had Micah Parsons tie the record and s- destroy the record by six. This is, this is a generational defense. Micah Parsons will, Micah Parsons forms the generational defense. You don't need anybody else. This is insane. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Once again, this took a lot of work for me to create. So if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like this sort of content. I do gameplays and whatnot. That's normally what I'm known for. I love doing these videos, though, because uh, I don't have to sweat my absolute balls off. But we got our we got our answer. Micah Parsons uh, seems to officially be better than George Kittle when it comes to creating a full team and who to clone. But that's going to be it. As always, guys, you go out there and put on a show. I'll see you in the next one.